Father Simon and the Caring Collective. Mine is a holiday confession. We have been asking for holiday confessions. Tis the season. Yours, please. Confessions at bbc.co.uk. This goes back 13 years or so. My parents were in their 70s and they regularly enjoyed package tour holidays. Now, I'd started to notice as they got older, they were becoming more and more daunted by the journey, normally via Gatwick to their chosen Mediterranean destination. They were particularly concerned about new restrictions placed on their hand luggage. I received many concerned phone calls about how careful they were having to be with not only the amount of liquids they could carry with them, because they were quite partial to taking a pre-mixed gin and tonic in their (laughs) carry-on. I think that's fantastic. Different times. Yes, different Uh, times. For the airport weight, but also other items of hand uh, hand luggage too. My mother was always very thorough and liked to be prepared for every eventuality. As such, she always took with her a spare shirt, a spare top, and a spare pair of knickers, just in case. What, just in the hand luggage? Just in the hand luggage. Yes. Wow, what's she expecting? Well, I don't know. Anyway, wow. she's just prepared, and yeah. she's thorough, OK? <laughs> now, it was during one of these frantic hand luggage trauma phone calls, yeah. she foolishly mentioned her concern at whether knickers would be permitted under the new restrictions. <laughs> Has this been checked? Has this been checked? Good. My, my husband and I... <laughs> I'm going to have to fade you out. You're going to have to call. <laughs> my husband and I saw the opportunity for a, an amusing yeah. moment whilst lightening my parents' pre-holiday concerns and send them off with a smile on their faces. How hilarious it would be to write to my parents informing them of the restrictions on hand luggage underwear. My husband, a graphic designer, put together a very authentic-looking airline letterhead and we spent a merry hour creating a formal mail-out regarding tightening of carry-on bag checks. The main thrust of the letter was that the new restrictions now covered items of underwear in hand luggage. Underwear would only be permitted if it was clean... (laughs) ..white... Oh, good. ..and less than 10 centimetres by 16 centimetres in size... (laughs) We created a selection of photos of unacceptable underwear, including Victorian bloomers, Union Jack boxers, cami knickers, and anything with a picture of George Bush on it. Is that a thing? Yeah. Did you get pants with it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I remember now. Yep. Well, we chuckled as we popped the letter in the post box and thought how much my parents would enjoy our little leg pull as much as we had enjoyed making Gloria. it. Well... Oh, dearie me, that's not quite how it played out. The next day I received a very fraught call from my father telling me about the letter and asking our advice. What were they to do? They'd measured all their pants <laughs> with a tape like measure yes. and none of them met the new airline <laughs> criteria. <laughs> now, says Gloria, my mother's undergarments were not huge but definitely bigger than the new restrictions allowed. My mother had sorted through her entire oh, no. underwear drawer and measured each one, but nothing was 10 centimetres nothing by 16. Nothing. nothing at all. OK. At this point... Yes. I should tell you that my father then explained that he'd gone on to ring the customer service line oh, oh no. to try and establish what they should do. Unfortunately, no-one at the airline seemed to know about the restrictions or about the letter, which had been sent to regular flyers. At this point, I had two choices. Let them fly, with my mother having to pack a recently purchased skimpy flimsy thong, <laughs> or fess up. So, what do you think? Uh, well, let's see. What, what do you think? What do you think well, Gloria's going to do? She let her fly. Obviously, let her fly. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. What do you the think? nice thing would have been to have fessed up at that point. Yeah, definitely think she bought the skimpy pants. Do you think? <laughs> well, at this point, says Gloria, I couldn't suppress my laughter anymore, and I suggested oh. to my father that he might like to look at the postmark on the envelope and oh. reconsider the validity of the said oh. letter. Oh. Blame somebody. I mean, somebody else could have. Yeah, yeah. And he did. He then probably hung up on me. Oh, <laughs> it, it took him all afternoon to calm down, but I'm not sure he ever saw the funny side. However, said Gloria, I would like to seek forgiveness for not only upsetting my parents and, add, act, in fact, adding to their pre-flight stress, but for putting an airline employee in the position of dealing with a knicker restriction inquiry from my father whilst keeping a straight face. So, you see, although you might have expected a hard-hearted Gloria to say, yes, it's absolutely for real, yes. that would be a cruel thing to make your elderly yes. mother yes, get Matt. on a plane... In a You'd thong, do that, wouldn't you? Or yeah. with a spare thong, just in case. Uh, anyway, we'll see what <laughs> Matt makes of it. Just a moment. Anyway, it's Gloria's uh, holiday confession. Thank you very much indeed for that. Let's see what sister... I think, I think Gloria, she, she already knows that her parents are very stressed about travelling. They're in their 70s and they're very stressed about these restrictions. So to make it worse and to go to all that effort as well to, to make put the letter together and put it in the post, I just think it wasn't really worth it. It didn't have the desired outcome anyway because it just upset her parents even more. And while it was a funny joke, I think it backfired. Do so you think? I'm not going to forgive.
Not looking good for Gloria so far, but uh, it's always deadly to rely on. What do you well, have I, I, don't, I think, I mean, it was good for Gloria. That she had a good laugh at the time until she had to fess up, of course. And that was in the days when postmarks actually meant anything. You can't read postmarks now, so you couldn't really, really do this. <laughs> That's uh, right, it's not deadly. Goodness knows, I've tried, Rebecca. I've tried many, many times. Relevance as always. Though. And and as for the airline employee, well, they're paid to deal with that, aren't they? That's exactly that's what you're going to say, isn't it? That's exactly what they're paid to do. And they probably had a good laugh as well. So uh, I'm going to forgive, I think. I'm going to forgive. <laughs>